Joe, a couple of days on from Tuesday night, it's one you want to put behind you now, I suppose, isn't it? But how would you reflect on the game? Yeah, uh, obviously it wasn't uh, the greatest night for us as a team. Uh, obviously, we, we don't want to lose games. And um, I think that we got caught uh, with a game that we weren't really on it and, and they were really up for it. And um, we sort of paid the consequence of that. And I think the, uh, the big thing for us today, getting back out on the grass, uh, get a good atmosphere uh, around the place again and start focusing on Saturday for a, a big game back at Pride Park, get the fans behind us and uh, try and put things right uh, from Tuesday night. Is that what the reaction has been from the lads? Quite a positive atmosphere out there despite the disappointment of Tuesday. Yeah, I think there's no point dwelling too much on the past. It's gone now, we can't change it and uh, we can change the future. And the future is obviously the game coming up on Saturday against Wickham. We know it's going to be a tough game, uh, notoriously tough team to play against at this level. Uh, and uh, yeah, everyone's really up for it and uh, ready to go. Tuesday was the latest for you in a long run of games in the side. How much are you enjoying having that number one shirt? Yeah, it's great. I mean, for me on a personal note, it's good to get the games under my belt. And uh, they've actually played more games already this season than last season. So it's a real plus for me that that's come in. Uh, from being at Derby County and I'm really enjoying playing uh, with the boys out there and under the staff. Uh, it's been really enjoyable and hopefully now we can start changing some of those those games that we are drawing and, and unfortunately losing into, into wins and uh, get a real good atmosphere around the place. How have you settled in? It seems like you've taken to it very well, that number one shirt here. Yeah, I mean, it's been nice. I mean, the manager and staff here put a lot of uh, confidence into the players and we go out there and the main aim is for, for us to enjoy it first and foremost and and then that makes it easier to do your job. If you ask anyone in, in any walk of life, if, if they enjoy their job, it's a lot easier to do day to day and we know that we're in a privileged position as footballers to do what we love doing but to have that added confidence put into us and and uh, focus on, on enjoying our football, it, it makes things a hell of a lot easier. It's a very tight-knit group of goalkeepers as well, isn't it? How much are you enjoying working in the union? Yeah, it's a great group. Uh, one of the best groups I've been in, to be fair, and uh, everyone's really, really close. Um, obviously, with Joe at the minute, he's, he's been away off the grass, but even in and around the training ground, everyone's really, really close with him and, and keeping him sort of intact with the group. Uh, and obviously, Lochi and, and H. Uh, bring uh, a lot to the table in terms of their attitude towards training and, and just the general sort of uh, camaraderie in the group. It's, uh, it's a really good group and uh, I'm sure we'll uh, carry that on as the season goes on. How much are you looking forward to Joe Svenang coming back in to really give you that competition? Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, it'll be brilliant. I mean, obviously, very unfortunate what happened to Joe and uh, obviously it's a freak thing that happens and it affects him more because he's a goalkeeper and obviously breaking his arm and uh, it, it'd be great to get him back, back fit, back in amongst it and, and it's great when people are pushing each other because you get the best out of each other and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to him coming back. And that's what you want, isn't it? You want competition for places and that's what you've got in other positions in the squad and though it's taken a bit of time to gel, we've seen positive signs. Yeah. How would you rate the start to the season? I think it's been uh, an okay start. Uh, I think there are games that we may have left out there in terms of points getting from them and uh, we know that, um, but I think the general sort of play uh, in the in the team and performance from the team um, may have deserved more points, and uh, that's unfortunate for us. But we've got the confidence in the group to to pull that from them performances. And yeah, we might not have got the results that we wanted, but at least we know we can perform at that level and the results will come. Um, as the boys gel even more and get to know each other even more, then relationships should develop and hopefully that should uh, result in us getting better results on, uh, on game days. At home, form has been very good with the exception of last time out. How much are you looking forward to returning to Pride Park? Yeah, obviously it's great. I mean, the, the fans, fill it out pretty much every week when we're there and to have that back in and atmosphere at home games we, we really feel that and it, and it does help us uh, in terms of creating almost a hostile environment for the other team as well so it helps us both ways and uh, yeah it'd be great to get back there and, and obviously get another good result uh, on Saturday uh, for the fans and, and for ourselves to get us back on that on that uh, winning, um, winning trend. Wickham awaits at the weekend, what are you expecting from them? Obviously, 
through the years, uh, we've seen them been sort of a bit more direct team at this level, and um, that's served them well. Obviously, getting promoted to the championship or dropping back down, but uh, I think we sort of got an idea of what to expect and uh, the sort of personnel that that will be playing. Uh, we know it's going to be a tough game, as every game is at league in League One, so uh, we'll have to be up for it, which we will be, and. Um, yeah, uh, really looking forward to it and uh, hopefully get a good result.